Hello friends, welcome to Codeboard. So in this tutorial, we are going to see some simple and basic Eclipse shortcuts that every one of us must know. Now there are various shortcuts available in Eclipse and we will cover them all in the upcoming video. But let's start with some very basic and simple shortcuts that will help us code in a faster and most efficient way. So let's check this out on the Eclipse IDE itself. Here we have a simple Java program which prints high. I'm just going to remove the main method from here so we can see with the shortcuts how we can auto type it. So our first shortcut here is control plus space. What it does is auto types the code so you know how important it is. Now here I'm just going to type main and press control plus space and the whole main method should appear. Similarly, if you don't even want to type the main word, you can just press Ctrl plus space and select main from the various options available and the main method should appear for you. So it is that simple. So whatever you want to type, just type the initial letters and press Ctrl plus space and then from the suggestion you can select whatever you want to type. For sysout for example, I can just say sysout and Ctrl plus space and the whole line is printed. So this is the most efficient or most useful shortcut in the Eclipse IDE. The next is Control plus D. This is used for deleting a particular line or bunch of selected lines. So let's see how. I place a cursor on this point and press Control plus D and the line is removed. Similarly, you can select multiple lines and press Control plus D and the lines will be removed. So you can use it to remove the code. The third shortcut that we are using is for refactoring. Now you have some variables that are used at various places. With this shortcut that is Alt plus Shift plus R, you can rename that variable at every place. Let's see how. So here I am creating a variable called greeting and giving it value hello. The same greeting I am going to print in the statement. Again I am going to give value to the greeting as hello world. And again I am going to print the greeting using system.out.println. So here you can see that the greeting is used at four places. Sometimes it is used in the code like in more than 100 places. So if you want to rename it will be you will have to change it at every place. And for the code that is having too many lines where the greeting is used it will be very inefficient. So what you will do is select the word and press Alt plus Shift plus R and rename it. Press Enter and it will be renamed at every place. Or another way to do is right click and go to refactor, rename and rename it again. It will be renamed everywhere. So this is also the most important shortcut for the variables. So what if you want to comment and uncomment the code? There is a shortcut for that too. Our next set of shortcut is for single line and multi-line comments. So control plus slash is used for adding single line comments. And the next one that is control plus shift plus slash is used for multi-line comments. So let's see how we can use it. So I'm selecting a line here and pressing control plus slash and the comment is added. Similarly, if I select multiple lines and press Ctrl plus slash, then the single line comment is going to be added for all the lines. And for adding multi-line comments for the block of statements, you can say Ctrl plus shift plus slash after selecting the lines. And the multi-line comment is added. It is that simple. Our next shortcut is for moving the statements up and down in the code. So 
So you are the sixth shortcut that is Alt plus up and down arrow moves the line of the code up and down wherever you want to place it. Let's see how this works. So I'm selecting a line and pressing Alt plus upper arrow and the line is shifted up. Similarly, Alt plus down arrow shifts it down. For, you can do the same for multiple lines as well by selecting multiple lines and pressing Alt up and Alt down. Our next set of comments is for extracting methods and local variables. So if you want to write a method from a block of code or you want to create a variable for a particular line, you can just use this shortcut. So Alt plus Shift plus M extracts the method. And the other shortcut that is Alt plus Shift plus L will extract a variable. So let's see how. Now if you have a large code and you want to extract some of the statements in the method, you can just select those lines and say Alt plus Shift plus M and a pop-up should appear. You can select the excess modifiers, the exceptions, whatever you want to generate and just give the name to the method. I will write greet world and hit enter. So our method is created. You didn't even need to type anything. So it is that simple. Similar is with the variables. So if I am printing hello world directly and there was no variable here, and if I want to convert this into a variable, I'll select the statement and say Alt plus Shift plus L. Here I have to give the name of the variable and the variable is created. So this is the way of refactoring and extracting it. You can also right click and go to refactor extract method or extract local variable and your job will be done. So guys, these are some simple shortcuts available in the Eclipse ID. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you know more shortcuts that are simple and very basic to use, please mention them in the comment section and keep exploring the shortcuts. Also, for more such videos, please subscribe to our channel and share this video. Thank you so much.